Hi. This uh, photograph was sent to me by Ariel. It's of um, Kolmarden in Sweden. I don't know if it's a lake, a sea, probably uh, the sea. There's so many islands, but I don't know. I haven't been there. But she very kindly sent it to me and asked if I'd like to have a go at it. And here I am, going to have a go at it. Now, a first view. Um, it's very complicated. There are lots of buildings in the uh, in the in, in this area here. There's a church there. Lots of lots of boats and jetty. How do you do all that? Well, you can't. You, and it'd be better to take a photo, take the photograph and enlarge it and put it in a frame. What we've got to do is make a piece of art out of it. The horizon is quite high. It's a setting sun, I would imagine. Um, so we need to make it rather dramatic. The area of rocks here, we can quite easily do those with the card. They won't look like those exactly, but, but then we're, we're in the business of making art rather than making portraits and copies of things. We have the freedom to create our own little world oops, in uh, paint, watercolour, acrylic, oil, whatever. Um, before I do, I'll just show you the, these. These are the ones I did earlier in the week. I took photographs of them. They're a bit underexposed. They, I, I just got them developed at the local supermarket. The digital, let's see if I can show, show the, the focus me. So there's that one. And there was uh, that one. So I'm showing you, whoops. You get the focus right, it's come out. That one, my ugly mug, and uh, this one. Oops! Right, there we go. That one. I love doing them. In my comfort zone. And uh, this is the one I did a couple of weeks ago. Now, doing when I was doing all the rocky Welsh North Wales scenes. I love doing these. Keep it simple stupid is my motto and, and when you get away from keeping things simple you end up with mud and all sorts of trouble. It just goes wrong. So just keep things as simple as possible. So we're going to wet the paper all over. I'm not going to do a drawing on this. This is only going to be an approximate view. Now, if I'm honest, I, I'm painting on the side, of the, or the other side of the failure of it, where I try to be too clever and put everything in, rather than just capture the mood, rather than, than the actual scene, and it just didn't work. So, my colours, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, and burnt sienna, which I, I'm not using at the moment. Uh, so I'll use a bit of raw sienna, just keep it a bit dirty, and I'll, uh, I don't want too much water, it's all the water is on the, uh, oh, a bit of red in there as well, is on the, uh, I can't know what I was going to say then, it's an age thing. Some colours are very saturated, the, the, light, the reds, the light red and the alizarin, there's a lot of, uh, pigment in the in the in the paint itself and you have to allow for that the, the colors like uh, uh, raw sienna uh, Payne's gray is uh, ultramarine etc are quite unsaturated they, they you need more of those so you have to bear that in mind when you do the mixes so I'm gonna mix some light red and some Well, I'll put a bit, a bit of blue in to start with, or bluish. So let's. This is a night cloud, so called. I'll so just get that in. Speaking across the sky, it gets a bit darker as we get down to the the uh, the uh, where the the sun is setting. So just put this this in here. I want oh, that sort of fairly straight across there. Right, okay. 
going behind the. Uh... Oh, I haven't shown. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, glad we haven't gone far. What am I on? Uh, let's do that. Must be there. Uh, right, well, I, I'll have to recap. I've um, just just put a wash of raw sienna over it all. This is the night sky and the sienna underneath it. So it's a bit wet. So I need to just dry it off a little bit. Because I want to put the, the distant um, island. It's, it looks like an island. I would imagine it is. I'm not sure. Right, just take your headphones off. Not too dry, but I want to. I, do, I, I want to fix fix it. It's coming down a bit too much there, but never mind. We're putting with those colours. We're putting the distant landscape. Uh, we'll come down to that here. No. All right. That's the distance. A bit darker for the oh, there's an island in front of that. And then it comes over here. I'll put that in there. Try and get your horizon straight. Or at least horizontal of that. No detail in this. Right, that's the distance. I um, probably need a bit of blue on there. But... Just to send that back a bit. Right, okay. So that's my background. Now we've got this great wedge of uh, landscape coming over. I, 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 come out a bit too far there really. Well I'll go over that. Oh I'll just dry it. Take headphones off. I mentioned it because somebody complained that I blew their ears off. So I'm going to just use I'm keeping away from the paints grey. I'm just going to put in this uh, greeny background. So we'll just, we'll just come up here with, with this. And then we come to a bit of a sticky out bit. And then we've got all this coming up here. coming up here. I imagine these are mostly pines being Sweden. If anybody lives in Norway uh, near a field I'd love some of them. Some photographs. I'd love to paint fields because I could really have some fun with a plastic card. Oh, we just get all this in here. I'm not going to paint the jetties. I'll, just, I'll indicate a few boats. It's coming down a bit. Sweeping round. See, Payne's grey would not be as colourful as, as this, it would take the colour out as far as I'm concerned. It has its uses, I'm not decrying it, I've used it a lot, but um, I, 
tend to try well, to um, use these more colourful mixes. See what we end up with. Now that's quite dark in there, so primaries. Now that's as dark as we need to go there, I think. And I just got a bit of better shape. Paper's dry. Now I'll put the reflections in in a moment, but I want to dry this all off first. Now let's get get some darks up here. But not too much. Right, okay, we sort of got a, got a bit of feathery stuff up here. Because there's all these bits sticking up, like pines, as you like. Just, just suggestions. Right, okay, that'll do. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to dry that now. my brush, get a good brush. Right, if I was off. What I'm going to do is to put in the reflections, but I also want to put in a wash of blue on the self, or grey on, on the water. Uh, oops, yuck. A bit of rye there. Right, so far so what? Well, I'm going to wet the paper again all the way along here. Whilst preserving the paint there, don't want to disturb that. I'll put in a bit more sienna in there. Because that's catching the light through here. So I'll just put that one. And we've got the spooky ripples. Right, so I've got a blue over that. So it's sort of a grey, so a touch of red in there. Right, let's uh, build up. Just want that all over this. Keep it wet. Now, while that's wet, I can put in the greeny reflections. Mixing. I'll just pour that in there. All the way along there. A bit darker. A bit of thunder in there, I think.
Right, we'll leave that. I can't do any worse than that. Let's go back to the rocks now. I'm going to dry that off. Headphones off. in that state, clean that dirty greeny stuff off and I'll mix up a bit of a darker grey and I'll try and dry brush over that in the direction of the of the ripples. Easier said than done, right blue, red, blue, nice blue, dry brush. So we've got, got the ripples coming up here really. Not too many, I'm coming it up with the rock. So we'll just get some movement on this, just okay, lots of bits and pieces, but you can't put them all in, you can just just a suggestion. Brush and just touch some of that, just move it a little bit, soften it. Uh, watch out, I think mean, might go up there. Right, okay, I'll dry that off. So my usual suspects would have used burnt umber in this. Um, see how saturated that red is? Those are one, all these colours. So we've got a bit of a rock coming down here. Then we've got one coming up over the top there. Another one coming, and then one over here, a couple in there. Right, so let's change those colours. You need lots of colours in these because you're going to move them. And in doing so, you're going to make a shadow on parts of the rock, and you're going to leave a lot of lights. So that's that's fine. Now with your plastic card, <clears throat> which will never be far from my hand, just just do a sort of an, an approximate comes down there, and 
these rocks is sort of they sort of go like that this sort of this way towards the sea and we've got dark in here so I just scrape the paint into the dark and then it's got a bit dry but quick so there are lots of little bits but there's a sort of a, a light on the top of that there that one so we've got lots of little exposed light bits on, on it as well it's not as grey or light as I'd like. I might be lifting out some of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, let's get that. Okay, I'll, I can. I'll dry that off, and I can. I can lift out. Headphones off. Oops. Right, see if we can take out some of that colour now. Uh, tissue. <coughs> Sorry, jog me. Uh, right, that's just. Uh, this is quite light on the top here. So I just want to show that. And that all comes down here. Got some light there. And bring the rounded bits back. Let's just take some of that out of there. Uh, that's a bit lighter there on that edge. It's totally different to oil painting, isn't it? Oh, we've got a nice light there. And, uh, these are light rocks, I forgot them. I thought they were there. They're obvious really, but let's get that nice and light there. Okay, so it's something like that. I'll put this all, it's all nice and light through there. I'm going to just take out some light in there. Right, you just fiddle around until you've got it as, as you think it should be. That, that'll do. <coughs> there aren't too many darks on there. It's quite a, a, a lit, well lit area. Right now we'll just start on these trees now that are in uh, here. So let's put some of these Christmas trees in here. Oops, careful. Can go away there. A bit of shadow at the base of that. Green. Just using bits of the hake. I don't want to get my 
shadow in there. There's another one here. Let's just put that in there. in the right place. But hey, who's counting? Oh, it's dark. Oh, a nice bit of colour over there. And we've got some bits of stuff here. Oh, there's no hair there. A bit of stuff here. Right, now we've probably got some greenery on there, but on the rocks, but I won't. Right now we've got a nice lot of green shadowy stuff in here. I'll just put it down to there because that is all from a little now. See if we can just hold the brush in a different fashion. It's a straight edge on there. Uh, trying and error this, trying to uh, paint the tree coming up here. <coughs> they come over further, so let's just get a nice darker green. Uh, It's light against dark, light against dark. Oh, that's fine. And that bit of it, shadowy under there. Uh, that would be shadowy in there. Right, okay. I just want to take out a little bit of, bit of light. Sort of works. Right, um, now for the detail. I've been fighting this. Let's just do little bits of bits of stuff. I, I can't really show an awful lot. Of, I'm going to show the jetty. better with, with the, this brush here. Mm. Right. A bit of a road up there, I can't show that, I can't show it all. Um, just 
take out some housey things. Guess work as much as anything. Just try to create an impression of uh, things going on here. A bit of a towel. Uh, some roofs. Okay. Bits and pieces up here. Ooh, building shine through. Not a lot. Oh. Uh, more over here. Uh. See, I, you you just can't. Well, you can. You can try to put it all in, and then you'll get angry with yourself because you can't do it. There's just too much detail. Uh, now, what I do notice is there are some white flagpoles. I don't know if they are flagpoles. They're very, very light, so they might well be. So I'm going to just put them in. Ooh, details. Have a nice one here. Just carefully lift them out. <coughs> We've got lots of boats in here. So we'll just lift out some of them. These are right, so I'm not um, saying they are, but. There are probably about 70 or 80 boats here. But I can only just give an impression of them. Just, I could use white, but white is lovely, but it's so easy to overuse it. I could have used masking fluid, but I, that, it's a technique, there's so much, you, you, the danger is to overdoing it, doing too much. When all you really want to do is just an impression, to, to give an indication that there is something going on. And let the viewer put the, fill the gaps, put, his own, put their own detail in. Oh, just, just no buildings, just catching the sun or catching the light. Just a little bit, I can't do more than this. Let's just take out some windows here. Just an impression of things going on. Right, okay, now around here, we'll just take off, take out the tops of those jetties, if we can. That's where we do have a lot of boats. So let's get that there. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll just take out some masts. Just have to give an impression that we've got boats in there.
Right, that's what I'm going to do there really. Um, there are one or two boats floating out here, but I'm not going to do those. Uh, maybe I should just do a little bluey light sort of, just a bit of bugs and one of this, one here. detail on it. Excuse me. A bit of a darker one. Can't see any yachts. The yachts in. Must be Sunday. One, two, so um I'll put the shadow under that or the pink all right. Yeah. Actually, there is a mouse there, but I'll uh, see if I can just etch it out, and then I can put a bit of a reflection on. Did I put any more there? Uh, and then uh, under that there's just a very faint I do just show there's just a little bit of Just a little bit of interest. All right, shall I do a, a, a porpoise or two? No, I don't think so. Right, well, that's about the best I can do, man. Lost a bit there. It's supposed to be a, a sort of a, a sunset with a darker cloud, but a um, bit of detail in the foreground. I think we've got. We do have some. some uh, branches showing or, or a bit of a chunk showing in some of these. Uh, it's a bit up there. And one or two on the, on the big tree. Just put them in. Because they are. Yeah, there we go. Let's sign it and see what it looks like in the mount. Do you have birds in Sweden? Yeah. Dark enough. Right, this fills that area. Right, that's the best I could do with that. Let's uh, put a bit of tape on the top of it, hold it in position when I put a mount on it. It always looks better in the house. Not easy. Right, well, there we are. Uh, Kolmaden, Sviden. No detail, best I can do. Uh, there are some sort of red boys in here. Let's, oh, well, let's put those in. They might, if I, can, if I can just make them show, but I'll have to use a little bit of, a bit of white gouache. I'm trying to find my small brush. Or a small brush. It's not a rig up. Right, go on. Uh, right. Go 
Then my tray with the gouache already on it, but I want some red, so let's use a bit of alizarin crimson. Bit of white, no, a bit of bright red. on one side <coughs> right okay then more detail of them. Uh, no I'm not going to do any more to, to use any more of the gouache I'm going to turn into a into a mixed media. Let's just take a bit more of that. Make it shine a bit more. Right, well that's that's it, that's the best I can do. Sorry about that bit there. Um, so let me know what you think. I'll bring the camera around a little bit. So we have more a square on. So there we are. My version anyway. Let's go in and so show you the detail. Alright, uh, so there are my buildings, just indicated, masts for boats, a few boats, masts there, that boat there with the mast up and a little bit of reflection coming across the little bay there. So that is as simple as I can make it and still maintain some sort of integrity to the photograph. But I hope it looks totally different because... As I say, we're making pictures, not uh, portraits. But thank you, Ariel, for, <coughs> for giving me to this, this afternoon's painting. I can't upload that. And you can let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Persevering. Bye-bye.